What is up everybody on YouTube? Before I get started on this video, I just wanna give a big thank you to Mike, AKA a sneaker life for allowing me to show you guys part of my sneaker collection. Before I show you guys any of my sneakers, I just wanna give a heads up. I'm only gonna show you guys shoes that I don't normally see in collection videos. I want this video to be different. I want it to stand out. I can sit here and show you guys Yeezys, OVOs, Dornbeckers, Jordan Retros. Those are all shoes I love and like and wear, but I wanna show you guys something different. To all the trolls down in the comments, I am very aware that my hair looks like a Arby's curly fry. So think of something unique to say. First shoe I'm gonna show you guys is the Nike Lunar Epic Fly Knit. This is a Nike running shoe, however, I like to rock it casually. I don't know what it is. I know a lot of the soccer shoes now have the sock sleeve. I did grow up playing soccer, so maybe that's a reason why I think it's so stylish, but I love the look of how these look on feet. Definitely a must have in my rotation. This next shoe I'm about to show you guys is the Nike Lab Footscape Magista. One thing I love about this Magista compared to others is that it is swooshless. I also love the gold zipper and the gold lace tips. Really stands out, really clean colorway. This is definitely a shoe that is very stylish and a must have in my collection. Sticking to Nike Lab, this is the Dunk Lux by Ricardo Tishi. This is definitely the tallest Nike shoe I have ever seen in person, as you can tell. One thing I love about this shoe is the big swoosh and also the quality, as you guys can see the quilted leather on the inside. This is definitely a shoe or boot I will get a lot of wear in the winter time. I do live where it snows a lot, so. Definitely excited to wear this shoe. Next, we have the AirTech Challenge 2 US Open. The one thing I love about this shoe is the details. Not only do they put USA on the back for US Open, but they also added a tennis court lace lock. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but the material up here is supposed to be a tennis court-like material, which is really accurate, really feels rough. And they also added the Volt tennis ball to the bottom which is really dope next we have the new balance 574 what's unique about this shoe is that there was not a lot of them produced this new balance is specifically exclusive to the boston boylston street new balance store i'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but it does say boylston boston street right there on the end which is really dope and that is in 3m one thing i also love about this shoe is that it was made in the usa if you have not tried or owned a pair of usa made new balances the quality is amazing i honestly love it it is very hard to receive a pair of shoes that does not have good quality especially when you're paying over 100 dollars for it but that's just my opinion the first nike idea i'm going to show you guys is the air max 2016 in a camo colorway what this shoe is inspired by is one of my other favorite shoes in my collection the air max 95 from the camo japan pack i believe i honestly just think that all air maxes look good in the camo colorway the next nike idea i'm going to show you guys is the lebron 12 after the way he played in this year's NBA Finals, I am definitely happy to have this sneaker in my collection. This shoe is dead stock and I plan to keep it that way at least until he retires. So until then, this shoe will be boxed up. Definitely happy with how this shoe turned out. The last Nike idea I'm going to show you guys is the Air Max 90 Hyperfuse in an all pink colorway. One thing about this shoe that means most to me is a few years back my dad was fighting cancer. I do know that this is not the color of cancer that my dad was fighting but pink is definitely one of the most recognized. Every time I put on this shoe, it just reminds me that life is short and not to take anything for granted. This one says cancer, the other shoe says a four letter word that starts with F. One of the last two shoes I'm gonna show you guys is a custom done by my dad. This is the Air Jordan 4. At first, I was really hesitant for a paint splatter, but really happy with how it turned out. This is New York themed, as you guys can see the Big Apple and the New York buildings. I did throw on some red laces to make it pop. Last pair I'm gonna show you guys is the Air Air Force One custom done by my dad as well. This is probably the only sneaker in my entire sneaker collection that will never be put on feet. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, I do own retros, I do own hype sneakers. I just wanted to show you guys something you don't normally see. And just to make this fun for you guys, if any of you viewers watching this right now, first one to message me, if you own these three sneakers, the Magista, the AirTech Challenge, and the Dunk Lux from Nike Lab. If you own all three of those sneakers in your collection, 
message me and I will give you a prize. It'll probably be a dead stock Supreme cap, something hyped. Just let me know down in the comments. First one to message me gets the prize. If you want to see any more content from me, feel free to check out my YouTube channel, Edwin The Truth. I do reviews, unboxings, odd feats, all that good stuff. If you don't like any of the sneakers I just showed you, you are seriously the biggest hype beast I know. Yeah, I'm, a hype beast. I'm just playing buy what you like, wear what you like. That's all that matters. And before I'm out of here again, Mike, thank you. I appreciate it. Peace.